Hello everybody, Mike's Hobbies here. Welcome to my Lassius Niger colony. So this is a very small colony, however it is the largest uh, Lassius colony I currently own. I'm not too sure how many workers there are, but I believe there's about 10 to 20. I'd say probably about 16 or 17 at this time, possibly more. This was the one that I had in the big outworld of the sand. I moved them out because... It was just a bit big for them, and uh, sometimes the ants would get lost, and then they wouldn't be in the nest for a few days. You know, I'd watch them. They weren't, like, going back and forth. They would literally just wander around, and nine times out of ten, they'd just die. And it wasn't that big. I think it's mainly because they're just... Obviously, they're the nanny techs, so they're very small at this stage, and just not quite big enough yet to handle... A larger outworld. Now, obviously, you could say argue that well, in the nature, <laughs> you know, they go, they've got the whole world to get lost in, which is fair enough in nature. You know, <laughs> that is true. However, obviously, when you're keeping them in captivity, it is a little different because they're less likely to be able to find food nearby. Because I do try to make them hunt for it. So anyway, it was that and a few other reasons they kept trying to escape and all. So I've moved them back into their test tube, but I kept their sand thing because they seemed to have been going and digging little tunnels with it. So, you know, I was quite happy to leave that there. They seem to be happy doing it. Now, this video is partially about these ants, but it's mainly about something that I've got for these ants. So I've been hoping to make this video now for a very long time. I've literally just been wait waiting for this to arrive. And here it is. It's basically one of those fancy little test tube style, but obviously they're not test tube style, ant nests. Uh, you have a little bit here, so you fill this up with water, put it on top, so you can keep your ants in there and not disturb them. Because, you know, you don't want it to disturb your ants. Problem is, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get my ants into this nest, because, well, you'll see in a minute. So... Well, I'll show you now, actually. Well, this is the main reason. The test tube doesn't, or obviously doesn't fit. So I have no idea how I'm going to get these ants in. Because they aren't the type of ant that like to move. I think what I'm going to do, I, I'm literally making up a plan as I uh, go along here. I think I'll add a test tube adapter to the test tube so that it should just be able to sort of be held up there at an angle and then I'll keep the test tube exposed to light for the next few days my plan is that that will be enough just to make them move back in problem is that's not going to work very well because they could literally just escape so mm, a bit of a poor design I think really but I'm sure I'll find a way well, I hope I'll find a way. I'll be back when I've uh, found a way to do it. So the plan is quite simple. Using my uh, my uh, well current seed tray, which I have actually used for transferring ants in the past, um, but I I seed tray. Sorry. Uh, I basically just use it for um, keeping my seeds in. I don't know why I said seed tray. It's far from a tray. But yeah, literally just stuff like that, stick them in there where they're safe. That's normally what I tend to do. But, it's the only thing I have that doesn't have an ant in it, so I did have to empty it. I uh, cleaned it with boiling water, left it to dry, and here we are again. So, first things first, I need to fill up this. Okay, so I've got the mini test tube in front of me here. To attach, I suppose, I simply just need to tilt them both, or tilt this upside down. There you go, here it clicks in. Turn it upside down. And there we go. That was actually full when I put it in, and as you can see, the sponge is absorbing it rather quickly. I did use warm water for a couple of reasons. My hopes are that a little bit of a warmer nest would be more appealing to my Lassius Niger ants and also it will help with humidity don't worry I didn't use hot it is literally 
lukewarm water, but it is helping them the nest already, I can see, it's making it a little bit more humid. So, next step, putting them both in. And then I need to somehow support them so that they're near each other. Right, so I found a way to be able to link them up, and it was literally just using what I've already, a uh, hole that I've already made. Pull the test tube back through, and hope for the best. There we go, so. Open the top. There we go. So the test tube does immediately drop down to a new nest. Now all I need to do is put a bit of uh, cotton wool below. I need a bit more than that, I think. Like this. Don't worry, they can still get in and out quite easy. That will help them quite a lot. It's basically like an ant carpet. There we go. So, as you can see, there's already a workaround eager to explore. My only worry is that there is a tiny gap, but looking at it now, I don't think the ants will be able to escape at all from that. Because it is such a tiny gap. So, I'm probably going to sit here for a bit and watch it. If I can, I will try and catch them moving in. But because it's such a small colony... It'll probably just happen one day, you know, while I'm out in the garden or something, or the greenhouse. But if I do manage to catch them moving in, then I will try and do a time lapse of that for you. But if not, then this has been the last year's Niger Colony. And uh, I'll give you an update in a month or so, maybe maybe a little longer actually now. Uh, but as they start waking up, they'll be a bit more active and then I'll be able to film a bit more about them. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.